So the last time we did this, we did this with just Sonic. But ladies and gentlemen, after reviewing the comments, it's time for a little bit of a sequel. Welcome to the first ever Sonic Team Hunger Games. Now, District 1 is Team Sonic. Sonic, uh, questionable picture for Sonic, I know. This isn't, I think this is official, not entirely sure. Tails Knuckles. Then we got Shadow Rouge and Omega, Team Dark, Team Rose. Um, following Team Sonic Racing instead of uh, Heroes. You're probably wondering why I put Omo Chao over Cream. It's not that I like Omo Chao more than Cream. Quite the opposite. Um, the fact of why I chose Omo Chao is because one of the comments that I had in the last video, uh, you should be able to see it right here with credit to who gave it, is that they asked for none of the characters who are under a certain age to be here and I, I can understand that uh let's not get the children in there um in fact i also almost questioned putting big in here as well due to um some uh coded stuff with him as some fans like to speculate but i decided big's good enough of a character and he's old enough he can be here he's a fan favorite um, but going off of that logic, that's why Charmy doesn't appear in District, in District 4, the Chaotix. Uh, instead, I replaced Charmy with Honey from uh, uh, Sonic the Fighters because I figured this was good enough place. I mean, she was in the game along with, along with Espio. Not to mention, I feel like if she, would, if she would be brought back, this would probably be the best way to do it. Then again, she's just an Amy Rose clone, so I don't know. District 5 is what I'm going to refer to as Team Rush slash 06. So Silver and Blaze are here. Uh, this is Rush Blaze. Um, Marine's not here because I think Marine's canon age is 7. So I removed her and replaced her with, uh, well, we went from a, a raccoon to a badger. Uh, I figured this was the best place for Stiggs as a nod to Marine while also keeping uh, the original as good as possible. District 6 is Team Babylon. District 7, Team Female IDW. Yep, it's, uh, it's Whisper, Tangle, and Lana Lynn. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, everybody loves these characters, and, I, and I'd be more than happy to include them here, so here they are. District 8 is what I'm referring to as Team Classic, Classic Sonic, Mighty, and Ray. You're probably wondering why not classic Tails and classic Knuckles. It's just classics, like, technically they are their own characters now, yes, but I feel like classic Sonic has made enough of an impact to justify him being here as he's literally leading a parallel universe of Sonic characters now. And Mighty and Ray, I wanted to include these guys so bad, and this was the best place to put them. District 9 is Team Robot. We've got Gamma, Emerald, and Gemeral. Emerald and Gemeral are not the same character. I did my research. District 10 kind of follows under the same logic. It's miscellaneous friends slash like helpers on journey, like White Gaia, Tikal, Yakker. Uh, White Gaia will be referred to as Chip. They all have nicknames that better fit the characters here. District 11 is what I'm going to call... Um, <laughs> I guess District RPG, even though Shade's the only one from an RPG, but like custom characters are usually from uh, RPGs, and I was like, there wasn't really a better place to put any of these characters, so here we go. And District 12 is kind of a toss-up. You've got Belle and Jewel. They're kind of like, I don't want to call them miscellaneous female characters, because they're also an IDW, and they're great. And Shara is just kind of here because I needed an extra slot. And of the hero characters, I felt Shara was the best one to like kind of appear here, other than just getting a duplicate like classic Tails or classic Knuckles. So this is where Shara is. Let's get into the actual battle, shall we? All right. As a tribute, stand on their podium. The horn sound. So if you guys don't know, this is gonna work like Hunger Games. They're all gonna fight to the death, and only one can remain on top. Ray runs away. Um, uh, I think he would fly. Theo finds a bow, some arrows, and a quiver. Uh, I think Kunai suits him a little bit better, but uh, I'm not going to complain about that. <laughs> Big catches Shade off guard and kills her. Okay, wow. Uh, uh, that, that's what you get when you have the power of fan favorites. Uh, like... 
Big has all the moral support here. Shadow takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Okay, Shadow with a sickle actually scares me. He's gonna do some things with that. Classic Sonic clutches a first aid kit and runs away. That is Classic Sonic. I don't care who you are, that's definitely Classic Sonic. I, I feel like... I feel... I really hope Classic Sonic this entire game just embodies the idea of helping everyone else. That, that'd just be really great and true to his character. Honey rips a mace out of Tangle's hands. Um... Not sure if I believe that or not, but, you know. The actor shoots an arrow at Gamma, but misses and kills General instead. Ignoring how... How on Earth Yakker would shoot an arrow. Uh, let's just say White Beast powers, because... Yeah. He fired at Gamma, and General was like, No, I'll take one for the team. Because remember, Gamma and General are on the team. That's interesting. That, that's an interesting one to think of. Jewel runs away. Yeah, that kind of makes sense for you, not gonna lie. Knuckles, Jet, and Lanolin work together to get as many supplies as possible. Okay. Um. You're all from different teams, so... And you two have a history of not really liking each other. I don't know how Lanolin's personality would react with that. I haven't read enough of the IDW comics, I just know she's popular. But, yeah, that's interesting. I'll see how that plays out. Okay, well, while Classic Sonic was clearly about peace, um, Regular Sonic is all about ending this as quickly as possible. I guess Frontiers really did it to him, man. Frontiers will do that to ya. Silver was one of my fan favorites, and you just, Sonic, wow, you're just gonna blow in my gut that, okay, fine, fine, okay then. To call stays at the Cornucopia for resources. I'm now imagining that the Cornucopia is the pillar for which she's named after, and that is hilarious. Chip attacks Belle, but Barry protects her, killing Chip. Barry is out here. Barry's a chap. Well, like Gaia, though, that's a lot of power. Like, you think Chip might be a joke inclusion, but play on least, he is pretty powerful. That being said, Barry. Barry, that's that's unexpected from you. Styx snatches a bottle of alcohol in a rag. You know what? Styx with a Molotov cocktail actually makes sense. Shara grabs a sword. Eh, wrong storybook game. She would grab a magic lamp. Whisper finds a backpack full of camping equipment. I just... I can just imagine that. Just like Whisper sees everybody else and she's just sneaking around and like, Ooh, camping equipment. Ray snatches a pair of size. See? See, Espio is going to come for you for doing something like that. Tails takes a sickle from inside the cornucopia. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Well, a sickle a sickle is a small start, but let's hope Tails doesn't go the, the, the route of uh, Tails' adventure. Omega clutches a first aid kit and runs away. Doubt. Absolutely doubt. No. Nah. Shoot first, ask questions later. That's Omega's uh, motto. But day one, so that was just the start. That's like when everybody's driving equipment. Big scares get off. I mean, have you seen what he's able to do in Heroes? I don't blame him. Rouge diverts Classic Sonic's attention and runs away. I mean, Classic Sonic isn't in his prime, but even then, I think Classic Sonic would be more than... Well, then again, Rouge can fly, so... Like, he'd have to get the momentum. Amy picks flowers. You know what? That is 100% accurate to her character. I can, I can definitely see her doing that. More so cream, but Amy would also do that. Honey constructs a shaft. You out here cranking. This ain't Fortnite. Espio strangles Ray with a rope. Mighty will remember this betrayal. Chaotix member. This means war. Barry receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Is it a Faberge Chow Egg? Please tell me it's a Faberge Chow Egg. That would be perfect. The call makes a slingshot. Primitive, but makes sense. We have lost a... Well, no, there's 36... There are 36 tributes. I was about to say we lost a third. We lost a little under a third of the entire competition. Shade, General, Emerald... Wow, both of them are gone. Wave, Gadget, Silver, Chip, and Ray. 
uh, again, SBO, Mighty's coming for you. Okay, night one. Landolin is unable to start a fire and sleeps without one. That's sad. Although, you are a sheep. Shouldn't you just use your wool for that? SBO tries to treat his infection. I'm not going to question that. I don't know how you got infected, um, but uh, you killed you killed innocent Ray. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah um, get what you deserve. Knuckles and Mighty fight Whisper and Honey. Knuckles and Mighty survive. Okay, so Chaotix team up right here. Reference to Knuckles and Chaotix. So, oh, I just realized the men just like abused the women to death. Not something. Okay. Shadow thinks about winning. I am the ultimate life. Nobody stands a chance against me in this hunger business, son of a I'm going to win. With the power of chaos control. Barry starts a fire. Uh, hopefully not with a micro roll. Yakker defeats Belle in a fight that spares her life. I have several questions, and none of them are going to get answered. Oma Chow severely injures to call and leaves her to die. I I don't know how Oma Chow managed to do that. Maybe he just called up the entire Chow. But then again, that's ironic, isn't it? Because Oma Chow is based off of Chow to call for pro protect them all. Uh, okay, uh, for the record, this does mean to call is dead. She is not coming back. Big sees a fire but stays hidden. He doesn't want to unleash his powers too soon. He did that immediately. He doesn't want to make himself a target. Sonic lets Classic Sonic into his shelter. Generations, here we go. The Sonics working together. That could be a power team right there. Nobody else stands a chance against these two, canonically. Church tends to Tails' wounds. That's nice of you, Vector. Uh, I don't know how Tails got wounded, but uh, yeah, thank you. All right, day two. Um, I'm just going to leave this one. I don't feel like repeating it because uh, that is not a joking matter. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Jewel runs away from Barry. What did Barry do? Barry looks nice. Uh, oh, uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, that just happened. Um, again, I'm not going to joke about that. Uh, I'm going to... But since this has happened twice, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Uh, suicide prevention hotline, because people actually do care. I know this is just a game or whatever, but if this is showing up enough, I feel like I have to do my part and actually make a difference in that regard. That's what a decent human being does. Amy bashes Storm's head in with a mace. No. Pico Pico Hammer, which I don't know why you don't have in this image, but... Yeah, uh, that's probably what actually happened. Shara runs away from sticks. Wouldn't we all? Uh, uh, wouldn't we all? Big forces Tails to kill Landolin or Omega. He refuses to kill, so Big kills him instead. Big is the monster. Big is the villain. Big, big is the villain. Although, um, it does sadden me that Tails got eliminated so early. I'm sorry, buddy. But, uh, at, at least you have the moral high ground, so I, I can respect you for that. He's looking for Froggy again. Bell ambushes Classic Sonic and kills him. It took Bell ten minutes to do what Eggman failed to do in 30 years. Well, uh, at least your dad's proud of you. Time cannon shots can be heard in the distance for Whisper, Honey, to call. Mighty Knuckles, Jet, Storm, Tails, and Classic Sonic. We have lost just under half of the roster at this point. It's only been two days, but yeah. Homo Chow and Sticks tell stories about themselves to each other. I, I know that there are so many jokes that can be made here, but I'm going to leave that to people who are more talented than I am. I would love to see someone animate a conversation between these two, specifically during the Hunger Games. Blaze and Sonic tell stories about themselves to each other. Didn't we have a whole game about that? It was called Sonic Rush. I own it. Lanolin receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Is it the Resistance? Well, not really the Resistance. You know what I mean. 
Jewel and Barry tell stories about themselves to each other. Yeah, see? See, Jewel? Barry's not... Barry's not bad. Barry's just happy to be here. Look at that face. Omega... Oh. Omega forces Gamma to kill Tango Osara. He decides to kill Tango... Wow. Although, Omega forcing Gamma to do that, that's actually... That's pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Only because, like, they're both from the E100 series. Omega proving he's the best of the E100 series. Or, at the very least, most powerful. Blaze can suck the shit. You did this already! What do you need so many sacks for? Uh, she's, she's probably just trying to rebuild the Soul Dimension Palace here. Jewel severely injures Sonic, but puts him out of his misery. Wow! We literally just lost Sonic that easily. Shadow makes a slingshot. What do you need all of these weapons for? Barry Spear sticks in the abdomen. Okay, uh, I take it back. Uh, Barry might be a menace. That phase is a facade. Don't fall for it. I'm still not sure who's the who's the main villain, but I think it. I think Big is still in the running, but Barry. Uh, Barry might. Ha um, yeah, uh, Barry might be Big's competition. Gamma accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Uh, happens all the time, doesn't it, Gamma? Four cannon shots can be heard for Tangle, Sonic, Six, and Gamma. Three out of four of these are fan favorites. Night three. Amy throws a knife into Espio's chest. Sonic's dead. She's, she's taking her anger out. Uh, Espio's not the one who did that, but, uh, Espio's gone now. Omega, Blaze, and Vector start fighting, but Blaze runs away as Omega kills Vector. Okay. Omega going back to original programming and eliminating Sonic's friends. Omega is also a menace. The three big bads here. Well, actually, we don't know enough about... Uh, Barry's only done one thing, so it's hard to say. But Omega and Big are definitely trying to be the villains of this story. Landolin thinks about home. Um, haven't read her story in the comic, but that might be accurate. I don't know. I'm literally just gauging it off of this picture. I have no idea. Shadow practices his archery. He's just throwing chaos spears. Two cannon shots can be heard from FBI Vector. Uh, so Team Chaotix is now gone. Amy tends to Big's wounds. Teamwork. Teamwork. Although Amy, he, he's still a menace. Don't trust him. Shadow sets Bill. <laughs> oh! Oh, no, isn't she made of wood? Shadow was like, I will go for the most brutal damage. Omega stays awake all night. I imagine so. He's a robot and he wants to kill things. Oh boy, it's the feast. The cornucopia is replenished with food supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tribute's family. That's nice. And then Lanolin kills Oma Chow with a sickle. Um, look, I think we were all expecting it, but, like, we knew Omo Chow was gonna go at some point, but... Okay, Lanolin. And then Team Dark works together to drown it. Well, Team Dark minus Rouge, but still, Amy's gone. And then Char throws a knife into Rouge's chest, so, uh... Well, Team Dark now just is Shadow and Omega, I guess. Who severely injures Big and leaves him to die. She knew the horror, and she made the business decision to get rid of him before he eliminated... Before he kept being even more brutal. Okay, Jewel, do what you gotta do. Yakker and Blaze get into a fight over raw meat, but Blaze gives up and runs away. Uh. Okay. Barry's the only one who decides not to go to the feast. But five cannon shots can be heard for Belle, Oma Chow, Amy, Rouge, and Go. Shadow falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Shadow! Shadow, how could this happen? You... Of all the ways for, the, for Shadow to go out, this is not what I had envisioned. Omega practices Archer. Why? You have rocket cannons. Shadow poisons Barry's drink but mistakes it for her own and dies. Do not hurt Barry. Barry is probably... Okay. I I'm rooting for Barry at this point. Not because I don't like the other characters, but just the idea of Barry winning just seems fun to me. Two cannon shots can be heard for Shadow and Shara. Here things about home. 
probably want to go back to the Wisp planet. Jewel dies from hypothermia. Aww. Jewel was actually another one I would have liked to see win. Oh, well. You lasted well, Jewel. You lasted well. Omega sprains his ankle while running away from Barry. That shouldn't be possible. The other way around, sure, but... No. Although, I'd like to thank main protagonist versus the antagonist. Rest in peace, Jewel. Blaze, Yakker, and Barry sleep in shifts, and Lanolin sees a fire that stays hidden. I'm guessing it's their fire. Oh, and then Blaze decides to betray the person she was working with and overpowers Yakker in the night, killing him. And Omega throws a knife into Barry's head, while Lanolin constructs a shack, of course. Okay, so... So, to recap, Blaze is betrayed, the antagonist killed Barry, and Lanolin is just doing things. I think Lanolin might be the new vote to win. I know nothing about this character, by the way. Uh, two cannon shots can be heard for Yakker and Barry. Blaze poisons Lanolin's drink. She drinks it and dies. Okay, so... So, now who is it? You're left with a betrayer, and uh, Omega is probably the greater of the two evils. Okay. Okay. Although, it's kind of funny, because, like, in the original Hunger Games, it was like... These two held hands, and now they have to face each other. It's like betrayal, but I know what has to happen. All right. Omega accidentally detonates a landmine while trying to arm it. Ah, uh, like brother, like brother. Gamma dies, and now so do you. Two cannon shots can be heard for Lanolin and Omega, and the winner of the Sonic Heroes Hunger Games is Blaze from District 5. So yeah, I'm taking note of the top 12 here because these 12 will be coming back later in a very meaningful way. But yeah, this is the end of the Sonic Heroes Hunger Games, but... But don't get carried away, ladies and gentlemen, because we have another one to do featuring the villains. So, now to... I guess I, I better go prepare that one. So, thank you for watching. And leave in the comments letting me know if you... If uh, the character you root for at the beginning won. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a God-blessed day, everyone.